In its Tupic province, Maprik Secondary School received a funding of 2 million kina from the national government through the Treasury Minister and National Alliance Party leader Patrick Proage. Mr. Proage presented the check at the 41st Grade 10 and 4th Grade 12 graduation of the Maprik Secondary School this week. Gregory Moses reports. Mr. Proides, when making the presentation, also urged the students to do their best and make use of the opportunity the government has provided in the education sector through the introduction of the tuition fee free policy. He also urged the students to make use of every available opportunity the government has provided in the education sector for students to undertake and not see them as failures if they are pushed out from the formal education system. As Papua New Guineans, we must learn to accept that that if we don't make it through the formal sector that is also an informal sector and i think up to grade 12 education you have a better chance to succeed in your lives mr proides also added that they as a government have so far invested about 600 million kina in the education sector in the last three years when trying to implement the free education policy in a bid to educate as many children as possible. He also added that they, as a responsible government, have continued to support the sector, and this is evident in the recently handed down and passed supplementary and 2016 budget allocations, despite the downturn in the world's economy. Because our government, the only Leon government, believes in a brighter future for our country and making sure that sufficient investment is undertaken in our education sector. Meanwhile, school board chairman and businessman Peter Simon, when receiving the check, thanked the minister and government for their support towards the school and said that Maprik Secondary is the premier institution in the district and should be supported. Now, we talk thank you. Plenty of money we've received through long district. Now, with this two million, we will do something. Gregory Moses, NBC National News, Port Moresby.